This video is going to be about Honor Duel, one of my favorite modes in AFK Journey. 100% free to play competitive mode. There's no such thing as progression. It's a mini game, but a main game. But I'm going to tell you the best artifact hero combo in the game. If you end up liking this video, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell, ding a ding a thing, so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. All right, let's talk about how to play Honor Duel and tell you what the best combo is. First and foremost, the best combo in the game is Pale Crown. If you can get this off of the selection, get it. If it's not up there, there's a lot of other choices you can do too, but I always just hit random and hope I get this one. On my server, number 69, Giggity. In Honor Duel, I've been rank 1 for the majority of the time, however, I'd bounce between 1 and 5. Because everybody's trying to get to that top. But Sylvina combo with Pale Crown is just nasty. The damage dealt by first strike is increased by 2.2 times. She can't be prioritized as a target. And every assist or kill, she then attempts first strike again. And then if you picked allied heroes with epic equipment, deal 15% more damage. And you wait and get this Mask of Fury equipment, increases 100% attack. You will literally one shot the enemies and you can win a match within like 15 seconds. Let's talk about how to play Honor Duel. Because there is some luck to it, very minimal luck, but there's also strategy to it. First and foremost, the Duel Store. Depending on what artifact you get and what kind of hero you're trying to focus in on, 9 times out of 10 you want to go with the full faction. You don't have to because you can upgrade your heroes by single cards kind of like this. But I try to go full faction for one you get the max HP attack bonus. Two, you have these triple cards that cost 33 coins, which with luck you can get the right ones, which I didn't. I did get one Salazar, which is good. However, you can sell the unwanted heroes that you don't need by going into hero sale and selecting the ones that you don't want. I always prioritize leveling my heroes, trying to get them to mythic. Unless there's certain equipment that you see that is perfect for your situation. Like Mask of Fury, for example. This is just amazing on Sylvana. You can reset this dual store to hopefully get something that you need. But if I'm low on coins, I'll reset the store and see if there's anything in the next page that I can lock in. Like for example, Furious Gauntlet's really good on a Salazar because he'll be in the enemy line a lot. So I'm going to lock it in. There's legendary equipment too, but most of the time, I go for the purple rarity of Epic. Because there's a lot of situations where you can get allied heroes with epic equipment, deal more damage. There's even equipment like that too. But anyway, let me show you how OP Sylvana is. And when you use this combo, you want to wait to place Sylvana till this last round. I usually throw my tanks up there first, especially in this combination. I like to do three melee front. Kind of all spread out because really it, I don't even care about these other healers. It's all about Sylvana and you'll see that. So what I'm looking for here is to use Sylvana to nuke the enemy DPS. So I'm going to place this wherever I need to to get rid of that DPS. So I'm going to just go ahead and take out her and put Carolina right here. And I'm going to try to slow it down for you so you can see what Sylvana can do. It's nasty. Here we go. Let's slow this down. Here we go. Let's... Sylvana's going to go in and nuke one. She's already nuked one. Now we have, uh, yep, they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. And Sylvana just keeps using first strike because of the artifact. Because of the artifact. 15 seconds in and it's GG. But I always prioritize going to Mythic on my heroes. As you see, Double Thorn here, I'm taking that. I'm gonna reset the store here. Got another Double Thorn, bam, Mythic Thorn. And reset the store again. See if I can get maybe one more Salazar because he's one away from Mythic. I'm gonna reset here again and there it is. Bam, Double Mythic on the sixth round well actually it's the seventh round because i did lose one don't be afraid to even lose two if you have a bad start on the very first round and don't get the cards that you want just save your coins enter the battle and lose let's reset the store one more time see if we can see anything here and we do so we're gonna lock sylvana card in on to the next match 
And with Sylvana too, because you have to worry about other Sylvanas, you have to worry about Valas. I always put Warriors in the back line. Put the Rogue up front near the tank, so that Vala or Sylvana attacks Igor. There's a lot of different situations where you have to do this as well. And as you see, there is a Vala. And if you see this symbol here, that means she is attacking Igor. This is why you never want to put your damage dealers down in the first round. Because in the second round, I can manipulate this. And now I'm going to be able to target Vala and one-shot her. So here we go. Hopefully it's still slowed down and you'll see Sylvana jump. And then you'll see Sylvana jump and kill. And then she jumps again. Then she jumps again. Jumps again after the shield, obviously. And she'll jump again. One shot again. And then jump dead. Jump dead. Jump dead. 11 seconds this time. If you use Sylvana and have the artifact and have this mask of fury you're pretty much gonna win let's get this one card here heavy axe is also very good on melee units i get this nine times out of ten i'm gonna put this on salazar it's huge increased damage to enemies within two tiles and also reduced enemy damage to him if they're close than two tiles not really worried about anything else right now except getting that one sylvana piece you just keep resetting the store until you get what you want. Eventually, I'm gonna get it. I got 50 coins, I need one Sylvana. When you have an artifact that has allied heroes, epic equipment, 15% more damage, and you see dusty metal, you also want to get this. This will increase base stats with all allied heroes with epic equipment. And keep resetting until you get that Sylvana. If you see somebody else you need, lock it in. But reset until you get it. Yes. Mythic Sylvana. And now it's GG. I honestly don't even need to do anything else. Whenever you're starting to match, always look at the enemy's artifact. It might help you choose what you want to do. For the rest of the match, just get those heroes, the mythic. There we go. There's one, Carolina. If you really want to boost Sylvana's damage, which you probably won't need to, you can get Blossom Light. You put it on your tank and make sure Sylvana stands behind him. Increases attack that equals 20% of your attack for the ally behind you. And once you've got all of your equipment, all you got to do is really just keep resetting until you see Igor cards. And there's a double, so I'm going to lock it in and go to the next match. As you see this little red square here, you put Sylvana on it and she's just going to nuke anyone that gets in her way. Now if you have extra coins and you got full mythic and you got equipment for all your heroes, you might as well try to look for some kind of upgraded equipment of legendary. This will be my 10th win, so let's just play it out here. We're going to throw Thorn up front, Carolina on the side here, kind of bait them into trying to attack Carolina. They see that legendary gear and they're kind of scared. Then we'll put Salazar up front just in case they want to go for Carolina. She threw down a Haywind, Sissia, and Igor. I need to take out her with Sylvana, so I'm going to target her. According to the placement where I put her, that's how Sylvana works. Let's see if this will do it. There's the Sylvana, and she targets me, of course. So now I am stunned. That is not good. I'm going to slow it down just in case. That was not good at all. This might be a GG. However, I do have Salazar here. Hopefully, he can wreak havoc on his own. But this is not looking good for me, fam. But we'll see. Carolina with the big AOE freeze. Perfect. Doing lots of damage. We got lots of people down. And still, even without Savannah, get I got outplayed there. The full Graveborn team still shines. With that extra HP and attack from the 5 set bonus. 10 wins. I am rank 1 in Honor Duel. We've been jumping back and forth non-stop. Quick tips, you can refresh tickets with gold. And again, at the start of the battle, selecting your initial combo. If you don't have some of the best combos up there, just hope go random. Pray to the RNG goodness that you get some kind of good combo. I'll go over some kind of like tier list for artifacts and heroes for Honor Duel specifically. But there's multiple artifacts and these artifacts do different things. But in this, like I said, I'm gonna do some kind of tier list. I'm also gonna do individual videos for each artifact, focusing on that and then focusing on a hero per se. 
Look for those in the future. But quick couple ones to really focus for artifacts. Oracle Sculpture with Leica is one great combo. Like I said, Pale Crown and Silvana, really good. Flame Orb and a Wilder team, really good. Relic Shard and a Lightborn team, really good. But again, like I said, I'll go over some tier list for you in the future. That's it for today's video. Let me know what you have seen is successful for you as well. Where's all my rank one fools at? Comment down below. If you end up liking this video, sub, like, ding a ding a bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.